Hi, I'm Adrian Boulding. Thanks for joining us for this, the fifth in our series of Dunstan Thomas Retirement Market Vlogs. The leading women's suffragist, Millicent Fawcett, has recently been honoured with a life-size statue in Parliament Square. So today, we thought we'd look at the issues of pensions, gender equality, or maybe I should say, inequality. November 2018, marking a key date in the history of the British state pension, the point at which male and female state retirement ages came together for the first time in a generation. From this point onwards they will rise together, from age 65 reaching age 68, round about the middle of this century. At Dunstan Thomas we've just concluded a major study using both quant and qual techniques of the baby boomer generation looking in particular at the preparedness for retirement of women. If Millicent Fawcett could read the findings of our study today, I think she'd declare that the campaign for equality is far from over. Already, over half of women are expecting to work beyond state pension age, either full-time or part-time. And of those that we questioned, the average expectancy beyond state pension age was to work for another four and a quarter years, taking them to age 69 and three months. That's a little longer than men are telling us they're going to be working on for. Looking back at these women's original plans, this means they'll be working 10 years longer than most of them had originally anticipated. Their retirement planning is turning out to be very different. The Institute of Fiscal Studies has also been conducting an analysis at the same time as us, looking at women who have had an increase in state pension age. Looking at that first cohort coming through, they found that their earnings were £44 a week higher because they remained in work rather than left drawing a pension. However, though that sounds like a pay rise, it wasn't because they lost £74 a week of state pensions and other state benefits that they were no longer eligible for as a result of the state pension age rising. The net effect for government is a gain of £4.2 billion in saved state benefits plus an extra bonus of £0.9 billion from the income tax and national insurance on those additional earnings from the women carrying on working. That's austerity in action. I'm particularly worried that women appear to be more at risk of making poor decisions at the point of retirement than men do. Only 17% of women have access to financial advice at retirement compared to 23% of men. And the women seem considerably less engaged with understanding the new pension freedoms, with 42% of women saying they are unsure where to go to find information about pension freedoms compared to 27% of men. And when we look at the PensionWise service, two-thirds of appointments are being made by male retirees. Turning to home equity, we found women were twice as likely to dip into their housing wealth in order to boost their retirement savings as an equivalent man. Of the nationwide survey of 54 to 71 year olds that Dunstan Thomas questioned, 10% of women have already downsized in order to release money to boost their retirement savings compared to just 5% for men. And looking forwards, we found again women twice as likely to downsize or release home equity in the future compared to a man. This we believe is drawn from the lower levels of occupational pensions that women reported to us. So whilst we might celebrate changes in gender equality in the workplace, those benefits may be great for the next generation coming through, but they will be of no use to the current generation of baby boomers now at the end of their careers and retiring today. The women that Dunstan Thomas surveyed reported smaller occupational pensions, both DB and DC. And of course, women still live longer than men. The latest ONS figures say that a woman aged 65 will need to provide for herself financially for another 2.4 years longer than a man of the same age. Taking all these factors together, what this means for IFAs is that for many of their female clients, they will need to offer safer and lower risk strategies than they would do for a man. <laughs>